In our world of coaching industry, one of the biggest nuance that a lot of coaches are experiencing is two school of thoughts where one school is pushing you to find and identify your niche immediately. And the other school of thought is to hold on to your niche and, and you don't have to narrow down your niche in order to get paying client. Now, both strategies work and both philosophy works, but I think a lot of newbie coaches, especially when you're finding yourself not having that niche a hundred percent and you get caught in the myth of trying to find it, but then yet you continue to struggle because you have no idea of how to narrow it down. That creates a lot of resistance. And unfortunately, it's the only reason probably holding you back from actually getting out there and starting conversation. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the one thing that you can do that does not allow the niche or your I help statement stops you from pursuing your dream. I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach. I love helping female coaches like yourself to simplify your marketing so that you can get seen, get heard, and get paying clients. Now, this is a big struggle. I know, including myself, when I first got out of a coaching program, that I was placed in a position where I am trying to focus on creating that I help statement or the elevator pitch that most of us would understand it. So it's a very short 30 second statement that pretty much describe everything about what you do, who you help and what you're all about so that your ideal clients can actually listen and understand and wanting to learn more about what you do. And that generally takes about just one sentence and you have to make it impactful. You have to make it stick to uh, people's minds so that they will want to actually learn more about your business. To me, uh, it was such a struggle that I end up attending a lot of networking event and meeting just so that I can practice that. And this is what I have learned. Yes, while having a niche is important, it definitely helps, especially in an online world, to position yourself in a particular field so that your audience can see you as the expert in that field. And it also allows you to narrow down your target and focus so that your messaging can become more uh, strategic, it can be more focused, it can be more clear in terms of who are you really attracting. But when you are in the initial space, like maybe the first couple of months in your coaching after you finish your coaching certification or after the first uh, year when you just got out, you might still be in that space of exploring. I don't want to narrow down my niche immediately. How can I do that? And how can I actually go out there to start having conversation? And this is something that I had a conversation with another uh, newbie coach recently is that she's not ready to narrow down her niche and she's not ready to actually just limit herself into a particular area but then she is struggling with how do i create messages so that i actually can allow me to create content and the strategy that i share with her is that when you look at what you do as a coach, there's a lot of different area that you can cover and there's a lot of topics that you can cover. And so one of the suggestions that I have for her was that she wants to get into a position where she can have conversation. And the whole intention and goal of why we do what we do online is so that you can get those conversations, you can spark that interest so that people will want to stay in your world to learn more about what you do as a coach. Now, how you can people's attention, that's entirely up to you, your creativity, right? I know people who host webinar that has nothing to do with their uh, coaching business per se. Maybe it's a creative work like art or uh, paint night. And the idea is that you create a regular meeting or group so that you can start having conversation regularly with your audience so that they can know more about who you are as a person, what do you do as a profession? And if it fits their agenda, if it fits what they're looking for, they'll be more likely to book a call with you to jump onto a discovery call with you. So 
the initial step, if you don't have a niche, you can simply host something like a workshop or a meetup to gather and aggregate your audience. Once you have this big piece of pie where you aggregate people into your world, whether it's facilitating a meetup group or a book club or something that you are already doing, maybe a paint night if you're creative, or maybe you like photography, you like to take people out and go hike, whatever it is that you do, you want to do it consistently so you can bring people who are also interested in pursuing that passion together so that you can have that conversation. So that's one way if you have a general niche and you have no idea of how to get client, that would be my suggestion as a step number one, just aggregate people. And however you want to do that, be creative, think outside the box. It doesn't have to be, I'm going to offer them a coaching session. I'm going to offer them a discovery call. Think outside the box and allow your creativity to do the work for you. And so that would be my suggestion if you are totally new and you have no idea where to start and you don't want to narrow down your niche right away and you're still trying to explore that I help statement then that would be a great place to start now once you go past that stage where I'm ready to niche down and I'm ready to redefine and having the clarity to what my I help statement is then you can go into identifying and narrow down a specific target audience perhaps after having conversation with the audience that you have curated, you're not really passionate about serving the photographer. Great, no problem. Then you will start pivoting into something else that you feel comfortable, you would like to serve, and that the audience is already there for you and you're ready to niche down. And so that's the path that I want you to think about for yourself instead of finding yourself being stuck in a bubble where I need to come up with this 30 seconds I help statement and I have no idea of where to start. The most important things I want to share with you and if you take away nothing else at all from this video, this is what I want you to take away. When you don't have an I help statement and the whole purpose of that I help statement is so that you can facilitate your conversation, it will give people an idea of what you do and how you do things. So when you are stuck in that moment of trying to find it, chances are there's a lot of resistance, there's a lot of energy around it. So work this with your coach and find out exactly what is that underlying mindset right behind why you're not niching down. But when you are ready to niching down, then I want you to think about what are you most passionate about working with? And every single one of us may want to work with everybody. But in reality, we can't really serve everybody. Not everybody is a cup of tea, and that's okay because the people who are really in need of our service are desperately looking for you. So niching down is definitely going to allow you to build that online business, to allow you to create better online presence and allow you to position yourself as the expert. But if you're start, still trying to figure things out, don't force yourself and thinking that you need to do that as your step number one. Maybe your step number one is simply curate a, a group, a meeting or something that's created that you can start gathering people. And through those conversations, you'll have the clarity to what exactly you're passionate about and how you're going to help and who you're going to help. So I hope this gave you the permission of, hey, you don't need to have the I help statement on day one. And that will come naturally to you as the more conversation that you have with people and the more engagement that you get through your social media online presence. And the more that you get out there and spread your message and talk to people, the more clarity you're going to have in regard to your I help statement. If you are ready to niche down and you're ready to get out there and create that online presence so that people can see you as the expert in your field. You want to build trust and you want to build authority. You want to start getting paying clients through your online presence. Then I would highly suggest that you become part of the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp, which is going to happen this weekend on Sunday. We're kicking off with a welcome party. I would love to have you there. And until then, keep coaching. I will see you in the next video. 